guys and welcome back to our channel. So guys, disclaimer, we're going to Greece in like two hours and we're like super rushed. We haven't finished packing so this is going to be so quick. But I promised you that I would let you know all my tips and tricks on how I lost 23 kilos in total. But um, while being on the fitness journey, I've lost 13 and a half, got 500 grams to go. We'll go through all of the questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram and I've got so many tips and tricks for you on how I lost it and got my abs back. Actually, I never had abs before. Fittest that you've ever been. Thank you. That's thanks to me, not you. Cool. Whatever you think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're all aware I, um, I fell pregnant with IVF and using a lot of hormones and I put on a lot of weight when I was pregnant. So I put on a total of 23 kilos. Um, I did eat really badly as well. Not badly, just like large volumes of good food. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I was breastfeeding and I had the baby, I was breastfeeding and I was eating a lot of really good fat. So lots of avocado, lots of salmon, uh, lots of cheeses and I just put on... A few carbohydrates as well. Yeah. So she was just eating pretty much similar to what she's eating now but just like tons of... She was eating a lot of food and um, yeah I started putting on weight when I was breastfeeding and everyone's like you should lose weight while you breastfeed but everyone's different. So that's also something to take out of this is everyone's different. So my tips and tricks might not work for you, so just take what you want out of this and maybe get a bit of inspiration and find your own groove. But this is how I did it. Why I follow a fitness program while I'm breastfeeding. Guys, it's simple, just eat those good foods, just eat a little bit more and find that happy medium. If your milk starts to deplete, then try and add in a little bit more volume of those good foods. Don't go and have KFC, Hungry Jacks and that because your baby's not going to appreciate that anyway. Just eat the good food that's in your fitness program or in your nutrition program and then just add it, add, add a little bit more quantity until your, your milk supply is at the place that you want it to be. For the first five months of my fitness journey, I followed the Fit As app and I've told everyone about that and everyone's asked me what did you eat in that time and I haven't given it up yet because, I don't know, for me, it was specific for me. Mm. Um, but it works really well. So I'm gonna share it with you and you can take what you want out of it. Okay guys, so most frequently asked question, how did I stop my cravings? What did I specifically eat? So you can tell them what I ate and why, and yeah. they want specific, so like, Let's get specific. tell them what to eat. Okay. All right guys, so when you're looking to lose weight, the most important factor that you need to consider is not how many macros and micros you're eating, but how many calories you're actually consuming and how many calories you're burning. So for the first, say four to five months, what we did is we put this on a low calorie diet. So all our main focus was yes, getting it healthy, getting her fit, um, improving her strength in the gym, but also putting her, in a, putting her in a calorie deficit for that period of time. So what that means is uh, low fats, because fats are very, very high in calories. Okay, so we wanted to try and consume less energy than we expended. So. Um, Obviously exercise was our main priority, how many calories we could burn in a workout. We lifted heavy weights and uh, a fair bit of endurance things from the, the first fuck up. But diet wise, we try to consume as little as possible fats. Fats are very, very high in energy. Um, we reduced our carbohydrate and our portion size did drop dramatically. Not ideal in a performance sense. So when you're looking to build muscle and actually perform, you want to try and increase your, your calories and have good macro, macro and micronutrients. But when you're looking to lose weight, what we did here, um, that's what that's what we achieved really, really early on in. Uh, it also gave us confidence to go, okay, well, I'm seeing the weight come off now and keep going. That's a big fact that everyone forgets. They get caught up on this is this right, this health professional said this, 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 but hey, if you don't have the confidence within the first three to four weeks, you're not gonna go nowhere. So, you guys wanna know specifics. Why don't you tell them specifically what I cut out? So, what I did specifically we cut out like, we would opt for, say, chicken breast, or turkey breast instead of salmons and things with high, uh, high omega-3s. Um, our breakfast looked like two uh, wheat bix Every day. Every day, so two wheat bix raspberries, skim, skim milk, um, our morning teas were fighter weeks with cottage cheese. Oh, our mini ones. Yeah, our lunch. Our lunch looked like uh, a salad with some with some protein. So like lean protein again, like turkey mince um, or chicken breast. And no olive oil on the salad. T tenderloins, actually chicken tenderloins. Wait, I'm giving them tips here. 
instead of olive oil, put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on your salad so it's not just like you're eating grass. Like, mm. Just put some lemon, squeeze some lemon over it or put some balsamic vinegar and don't add oil because that's a massive thing that helps when I cut out oils. So continue. Continue. Uh, afternoon, afternoon tea would be possibly a piece of fruit post-training, banana after, uh, after your workout. Uh, pro we tried to go with the protein shakes, however, this just did not like protein shakes. I can't shakes. do protein shakes. Um, and then again, cottage cheese and, and, and vital wheats. Uh, feel free to put a bit of tomato and things on that as well. Um, spice it up a little bit. Dinner always consisted of uh, protein and, and salads. So we'd probably try and cook some protein. Again, a mixture between your red meats and your white meats. I would have red meat limited twice a week, and that would be a, like a lean steak, or I would treat myself sometimes to lamb cutlets, I would have three. So yeah, try French, and, French cut lamb cutlets, so, yeah. so no just fats. Try and avoid red meat as much as you can, twice a week max. Um, Still need it a little bit. My biggest saviour in this whole time was, I've mentioned it before, that I got to have a chocolate paddle pop stick every single night. And I had it every single night. And I think that kept me really sane because I would have, it was a treat, it was ice cream, chocolate, it, was, it just cured all of my cravings. And that's what got me through. Yeah. So paddle pop sticks, really, really low in calories, like 86 calories. Um, so it's a really good alternative for a treat. Whereas like say a normal ice cream would probably have around 250 to 300. Again, I'm not massive on counting calories. I don't promote it, I don't preach it. But when you're looking to lose weight, quickly as well, calorie deficit. And by quickly, he means like seven months. Yeah. Because at the beginning of the journey, I was like, Giorgio, I'm just gonna wait until like three months out and then go on a crash diet and lose all this weight. And he was like, this, no. You're just gonna put that back on in the first week when you get to Greece. So. Dis okay, not a disclaimer, but let's just go into that a little bit. The weight that we lost was over the seven month period. We went, not like crazily drastic, but we went like hard on looking at calories for the first three months, get the confidence up, you know, see results within say four to eight weeks. Um, then we reversed out of that and went performance. So what our eight week guide does is it really, really targets in on that performance food. So what foods are you going to have that are gonna increase your energy? What foods are going to help you lose weight, build muscle, um, rather than just lose weight altogether? Then that leads us into my next um, frequently asked question, which was tips and tricks from me, how I wouldn't break and how I just mentally kept going. Kept going. So firstly, this is really cliche, but if I cheat, I'm just like letting myself down. So, you know that feeling when, I did it last night. You know when you pop a pimple and you regret it instantly because it doesn't pop and then you're like, why did I do that to myself? That's what it's like when you have a cheat meal. And it's just not, it's not okay for yourself to feel that way. So just don't do it. So I didn't, I allowed myself to have two cheat meals in seven months seven months I had two massive cheat meals and they were waffles both times because I really missed my um, chocolate waffles. So I've written down my my um, tips for not eating junk food. Firstly, throw away all the junk food in your house and all of the um, things that you are semi healthy like peanut butter for example, if you just reason with yourself like I might have a little bit of that organic natural peanut butter, throw it away because it's high in fat and although if you have 20 kilos to lose, although it's not that bad, if you're gonna just keep eating it like I do, just throw it away. So I got rid of all the junk food in my house. There was, if I came downstairs late at night and I was like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I would just grab a handful of raspberries. That's another tip. Raspberries, blueberries, mulberries, strawberries, all those berries are great for if you're really feeling like something sweet just get a handful of those. Frozen raspberries are awesome with Greek yogurt, like a little bit. Have a tea. So I know that sounds like really uh, just a tea, but if you get like a really nice flavored tea, like a vanilla. Chamomile vanilla or, sorry, honey chamomile vanilla or like yeah, a pomegranate. It's almost like a little treat. Like yeah. it's almost like when you're in deep, you're like, that's a treat. 
so get some tea. If I want, I'm a massive soft drink eater, uh, drinker. I love soft drinks, so a lot of the time with my dinner, I would fill my glass up most of the way and I would leave this much at the top and I would put organic pomegranate juice in my cup and that would give me a sense of oh, I'm having something sweet and it's like a it's like a soft drink without the bubbles you can even add it to sparkling water and it feels like soft drink like that saved me I did that pretty much every night yeah so pomegranate juice is amazing like if you want to go one step healthier than that you actually get the real pomegranate and you put it in there but if you buy organic pomegranate juice it's pretty much the same thing um, and it's a really, really good anti-inflammatory too. So a lot of people are on Twitter. And another thing is if you're, if you're just saying, no, I'm getting my period, I need chocolate, which is a thing mm -hmm. you don't understand. But sometimes when you get your period, you just need chocolate. Go and get dark chocolate and just have like, try and just have a square or two and just treat yourself to that. So, so dark chocolate, guys, is good a hundred times better than any of the other milk chocolates and things like that so if you're like someone that goes hey I'm probably going to break get some dark chocolate have it um, for times in need and then go hard and the, the, there's 100% going to be people watching this video going or oh, what she's saying that's extreme it actually wasn't that extreme the only thing that you that happened to you was you got some really healthy you reduced your blood pressure you reduced your cholesterol levels you can now run 3Ks without stopping. You can do 35 push-ups without, you know, where you couldn't do one push-up. Um, you know, yeah, you've got to sacrifice. Yeah, you've got to go through a little bit of pain. Yeah, you've got to say no to having waffles five times a week and things like that. Um, so you've got to ask yourself, let's be fucking real. Do you want results? Let's obviously had a wedding to prep for. Yeah, so that everyone, motivation. Yeah, everyone needs to understand that I had like a wedding in my tunnel vision and I really wanted to look and feel my best on my wedding day to look back at the photos and love them and love how I looked and feel good on the day and that is what I thought of every time I was feeling hungry or didn't want to train or I just had that in my mind. How many days did you work out a week? So how many days did you work out a week? So I remember clearly that's used to say hey I've trained like three times this week or I've trained twice this week or um, yeah I've trained th three times every week for the last month and month no. pre-pregnancy pre-pregnancy yeah no no you haven't but now she can safely say she trains six days a week every week for the last seven months and sometimes I go for runs in the morning as well as training so mm. um, a couple of questions were how much cardio versus weights did you do so you can answer that one. So when we did, so when Vest did the app to start off with, um, the app's amazing because you can train anywhere at any time. Um, you can choose gym, home, or outdoors. So Vest would go um, to the gym and she'd do 10 reps. So you can choose if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. So Vest would do 10 reps at um, heavy weight. So every minute on the minute. And then she'd couple that with a HIIT workout as well. So she'd do a strength workout and then HIIT workout. Then as soon as we were eight weeks to go, we changed to the eight-week guide and we went hard with the 18 reps. So that's one of the big things. We also made sure we did our LSD. So that's had to do two LSD sessions a week. So the LSD doesn't stand for um, some hallucinating drug. It's uh, long, slow distance running. Um, so we did that every morning fasted too. Well, sorry, not every morning, twice a week fasted. Yeah. And um, fun fact, as I said before, this girl could not run 500 meters if her life depended on it. Now, she's a runner. And I would have just calmed down there, Queen. No. Not a runner. Like it's amazing to see. Like she used to say, "I cannot, I can't run. I'm gonna get a stitch." And one of the, so, if you're not a runner and you want to run, one tip is imagine trying to take your mind to another place. Imagine what you do if you have one fifty million dollars. Where would, what would, where would you go, who would you spend it on, who would you give it to, um, how would you change the world, so think about all those things. Okay, what about when you start to plateau? Okay, when you start to plateau, like we never plateaued, because we just kept changing it up. So, as I said, we're on the app to start off with, 
on the app you can't really plateau because you're always training in a different location or you're doing some something different where we're constantly updating the workouts as well every week i would see weight loss i would get on the scales once a week and sometimes i would put on a couple of hundred mm. sometimes i would put on like 100 grams or 200 grams or sometimes even a kilo i would put, fluctuate you know and what, and what would you time. say and i'd be like georgio <laughs> <laughs> I like I've worked so hard and I haven't lost any weight and he'd be like because he let me only weigh myself once a week um, he'd just be like this either you, you, your hormones are like this either you need to go to the toilet you need to or you've just had a meal like a big meal last night like just calm down so weight loss you've got to think of the journey don't think week to week yeah it's good to have a check in once a week but there are going to be some weeks where you don't lose any weight there are going to be some weeks where you're holding a little bit more fluid maybe because of your menstrual, your menstrual cycle or because of something else um, and you put on a couple of hundred grams but overall you're going to lose weight um, so there's going to be a week where you lose nothing the next week you might lose a kilo and a half yeah no I found that every say three to four weeks I would 100% lose one kilo like a month it would lose it, I would it would take me a good month to see like a definite okay I've lost a kilo now to, that was towards the end at the beginning obviously when you have a lot more weight to lose the, the results are a little bit more oh, I just remember getting from 66 to 60 was way harder than getting from 60 yeah. to 55 like so much harder Another question, um, we're really at the end, but I have a question of how did you fit it in every day? Guys, I'm a full-time mom and I work around the clock. Um, I work full-time as well, but I work from home two days a week, at work three, three days a week. And the two days that I'm at home, it's really hard for me to get to the gym or you know to get somewhere. So if you have a baby or if you have a job, you just need to find half an hour well, 18 minutes in his guide, but I would do two. I would do two back-to-back -back sessions yeah, in the so app. So literally within 40 minutes. Yeah, you just need to find it and don't fuck around in your day. Like, don't get on your phone and be like, oh, you've just wasted 20 minutes. You could have done half your work. Actually, let's now. do that. Fun fact: go to your phone right now. Do it. Go to your screen time. Tell me how long in your in the comments below. Tell me how long you spent on Instagram. Okay, how long you spent on all your social medias combined, and then also tell me how long you spent in that in, in the last week on that. If you can't give us 40 minutes of exercise, and I guarantee most of you are looking at your screen and there's more than an hour on that screen, there's something fucking not right there. Your priorities probably aren't in check, and you may be not determined enough to achieve what you really think you want to achieve. So, you just need to get in your gym clothes, number one. Go and get dressed as soon as you wake up put your gym clothes on and then well for me once my baby was asleep i was bang downstairs out in the yard skipping doing my cardio bang into resistance doing all of my band work all my kettlebell swings um and i just got it done and then it was done i feel like if you just get it done um when you have the chance don't dawdle around don't postpone it don't just don't procrastinate, just do just it. Just go, just get it done. Yeah. Guys, I'm uh, just gonna quickly chuck this one in here as well. So, um, for whoever wants to jump on the eight week challenge at the moment, for the next week from when this video is gonna be posted, I'm gonna give you 20% off if you use the promo code SAVOSKIRT. So SAVOSKIRT as in one word. I just can't wait for this wedding to be over so you can stop stressing your fucking balls out. You're, he's Big, more stressed than me. And big I'm, expectations. I'm stressed because he's stressed. Google gift it up. Tell me how amazing it is. Oh, no. And, um, yeah, a lot of people will come in and see this place. Okay, guys. Well, this is our stressful wedding prep mood right now. So, we've got to go. That's why things are a little bit more tense. Though. We've got to go and sort our shit out. Finish packing. Fuck me. We're going to go. Get a haircut. See you at the wedding.